of Sam Hulse on Communications Officer for Bristol Estate. Um, we're bidding for new notice boards for all of the communal areas in the blocks and externally throughout the estate. Um, these need to be lockable A1 size notice boards so we can communicate effectively with the estate so posters and notices don't get blown away in the wind. Hi, this is Alison Gray and I'm the Chair of the Clarendon and Ellen Residents Association. Priority bid number one is for materials for the payback team. Um, that They come every week and they do a huge amount of work on the estate and we can show you a before and after so you can see how much work they're actually doing. And we provide through EDB all the materials and all of the tools we make sure the tools are booked in and booked out. We make sure the materials are kept closely under control so that they, they know there's no problem with tools disappearing. Um, but they've done a huge amount and we'd really like for that to continue. Hi, um, I'm Grant Scott from Clovenvale Community Association. This is uh, EDB bid number one um, to provide some lighting in four locations on the estate. Um, the reason being that there's some areas that are really badly lit and um, are quite dangerous where steps are that um, old people go up and down. Um, so yeah, we'd, we'd like to uh, arrange some more lighting around the estate. Hi, my name's Brian. I'm representing the tenants of, uh, and residents of Elizabeth Court. Um, our second part is to talk about the carpets upstairs as they come out of the lift they are very worn and could be a trip hazard particularly again for disabled people in wheelchairs etc um, so we'd like to see that uh, done hi uh, i'm amy tuck from essex place residents association um, uh, talking to you about our edb bid priority one um, which we are putting on behalf of the residents of Essex Place and that is for our uh, recycling bins which we have outside. Um, the reason for this bid is we have problems with um, a lot of rubbish floating around the area in the gardens and the car park plus the public coming over uh, and dumping their recycling uh, against all the bins as well. Um, so to stop this um, we'd like to um, enclosed the bins, um, excluding the glass bin, um, but all the recycling paper bins we'd like to uh, enclose. Good afternoon from Hampshire Court. Our first priority bid of raised flower beds, that side of the door and this side up to this point. And we have a version we can show you that we've already done on the last project. As you can see, last year we had these two built and this is what we want to create at the other end with a plant and soil allowance included. I'm Jason Williams, I'm speaking on behalf of Everett Court and we want some slabs uh, for a bike rack. I'm Corinne from Highcroft Residence Association and we're putting in a bid today for a new floor in throughout the building. We have old Marley warm tyres that have asbestos in them and they're very slippery when they're wet. In other areas of the building we have old smelly carpet and in areas where they have already placed the floor we have clean, hygienic, healthy lino which gives us much prouder, cleaner, happier atmosphere to all live in. And very much safer. These slip a lot when they're down and um, they're dangerous because they have asbestos in them. Mm. So we would appreciate you accepting our bids for the new flooring. Thank you. Um, hello, uh, I'm Anthony Cutler. Um, I'm the treasurer of, of Lavender House uh, Social Club. Um, now this is a, a bid number one I'm doing now. For, um, for, uh, for lounge chairs. D due, due to the last three years uh, of antisocial behaviour, 
uh, 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 issue, uh, issued by two tenants and their visitors, and by rough sleepers. And rough sleepers, the, chair, the chairs in the lounge had been soiled and stained. This this included one time several months of weekly deep, deep cleans on the chairs. Ch chairs have to be removed, uh, um, and the remainder uh, are badly marked. We we need new chairs for our lounge. They they are quite old now uh, and have been cleaned many times. We we need new chairs to make the lounge look better. I'm a resident of Leech Court, and we would like to put in a bid for new curtains for our lounge. The ones we have have been here years, and they're not safe for old people because they come off the rails. And we would like new rails and new curtains so that people can pull them when the sun's on the windows. And as you can see, they are ancient. My name, as you, most of you probably know, is Anne Ewings, Mount Pleasant Residents Association. I'm speaking on behalf of Bid One, and um, this is for Tyson Place, and it's the landscaping which has been we have received landscaping in the past, but unfortunately, some of it's died. And from that point of view, we'd be very grateful if we could have some more bushes and plants. Now, I've had assistance from people that know about gardening, and they've given me some names like Ali Agnes and a few other things, which would be more substantial and survive better than the others. The only other thing is we would like a tree in the green opposite the bench, a tree of some kind. We've asked for an oak tree, but they're a bit worried it might fall over on us. So basically, a, a tree there would be lovely. Any help would be gratefully received. My name is Charles Penrose. I'm Vice Chair of Sport Coach Tenants Association. This is our laundry room, where we have some difficulties with the interference of machines, and there are things, laundry, missing uh, from certain uh, tenants. We do need to have a CCTV camera in here to monitor the issues that are uh, arising and the problems that we're having in this area. The tenants would like to be reassured that when they put the laundry in the machines that it's theirs and it's left until the machines are finished with it. Hi, I'm Chris Rowe. I'm the Secretary of the St James House and Argonne Court Community Association. And on behalf of our residents, I would like to submit our priority one bid. Now, I'm in our community room, which is used six days a week as a, ca a community cafe. Now, we currently have a five-star food hygiene rating, but we have been told that our flooring here, which consists of quite old carpet tiles, which have become uh, badly stained over the years, are not suitable for use in a cafe. So we would like to replace these with a nice, clean, washable floor, similar to the one we have in the kitchen area of the cafe. This will enable us to retain our uh, rating and hopefully improve the cafe. Good morning. Hi, my name is Debbie Williams. I'm the chairman of Theobald House and our first bid is the redecoration of five landings. We would eventually like to do all the landings, but we'll start off with five. We would like all the walls repainted and we would like new flooring put down. This will hugely benefit the building, bring the specs back up because some of the floors, because we've just had new lifts put in, are looking very sorry for themselves and the walls have been banged and bumped around so if we could get five landings done this year that would be great. Hello I'm Carl Boardman and I'm representing Warwick Mount. Our number one priority bid is for a new entry phone system that includes essentially a mute button. Now, We've all had those nights where you're just desperate for your bed, you get into bed, you're all tucked up and warm and cosy and then suddenly, in the middle of the night, 
<laughs> You've got a really irritating entry phone system going off. If we could only be, just mute that button, that would be wonderful. I'm Lucy, I'm representing Wiltshire House Residents Association. We've got two um, bits for your consideration. The first one is um, improvement to the CCTV camera. At the moment we've got one pointing on each of the two front doors. There's one pointing on the back door and there's one pointing down to the stair area. Um, but most of the time I think people spend more time here waiting for the lifts because they take quite a while to come. So it was thought that it'd be a good idea to have a, a camera that would cover this area. Uh, it'd help residents feel a bit safer. Um, that's it. Hi, I'm Ian Ramage, I'm Vice Chair of uh, Bristol Estate. We would like funding to bring the kitchen to a decent standard. Half the kitchen was done, this one is too high. Um, people uh, cooking could get burnt, lifting hot pans onto the high work top. And we would like shutters all the way along to block this, uh, to stop people using the kitchen um, when, when there's no need. Um, things have been going missing from the kitchen. This is our way of stopping it and having to keep replacing items. Um, and I hope we're successful. Hello, I'm Alison Gray, from Chair of the Clarendon and Residents Association, and this is our Priority 2 bid. We Last year, um, we had seating put in the lobbies of, Claren of Ellen House and Goldstone House. Um, we've got one in one of the lobbies at Clarendon House, but we just need one more to go into the entrance at, at Clarendon House. Um, and it replaces the tatty benches and they're fire resistant, they're fire approved. And it allows the elderly to sit down and wait while they're being collected or they're waiting for a taxi or an ambulance. Hi, this is a bid for Grove Vale Community Association. This is our, our EDB bid number two. It's provision of high quality masonry paint um, to be painted on steps around the estate, which will uh, enhance security, particularly at night. Um, and also another good thing is that Community Payback have looked at it and are gonna paint the steps for us. Hi, my name's Brian and I'm representing the residents of Elizabeth Court. Um, number one priority are the public toilets, which are in a terrible state, haven't been decorated for well over 10 years. Uh, the flooring is a hazard, particularly for those who are disabled and need completely redecorating. Um, they're very, very difficult to clean. We do have excellent cleaners, but they just can't cope with what they're faced with. Uh, Hi, I'm Andrew Tuck from the Residence Association of Essex Place. Um, our bid number two is for the painting, the continuation of the painting of the stairwells, um, which you have pictures of. Um, we've got nine floors left, um, which were left out of last year's EDB bid, um, and so we're wanting the funding to finish off those, um, those floors so we can um, make the place continue to improve the decoration of the Essex Place. Um, I'm Barry from Hampshire Court and um, our priority bid number two is to get all our communal bins jet washed. Um, we have 20 of these bins on the estate and uh, we, in the early days the council used to have them jet washed but due to lack of funds and the fact that City Clean don't have the facilities to do this any longer, um, all of, when they empty them into their truck, a lot of stuff, gunge, gets left on the bottom and of course consequently um, they smell and um, it's not very pleasant. Hi, I'm Lena. I'm speaking on behalf of the Residents Association. Um, our bid is for fencing um, in this area. As you can see, um, it's not very secure. This is our only bit of green that we have and there's more and more families, myself included, with young children, are coming into the block 
this is the only area we have for them so it needs to be secured so we would like this area to be fenced off from dogs um, not being able to go to the toilet on the, on the grass and making it secure for our children. Yeah, yeah hi, I'm Tony Cutler. Um, um, I am the treasurer of, of Lavender House um, 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 Social Club. And, and this is my second bid. Is that right? Um, right. Uh, for, um, for new carpeting um, on the first and second floor corridors. Due to the last three years antisocial behaviour issued by two tenants and their visitors and by rough sleepers, the carpeting in the hallway have, have been soiled and stained. But once again this area has been deeply cleaned on numerous occasions but areas remained marked. We need new carpeting in the hallways as they have been down a long time and have had plenty of tread. New carpeting would make this place look, look much better for tenants and their visitors. I'm a resident of Leach Court and we would like to put in a bid for fire chairs so that the tenants can sit and wait for ambulances and taxis because our benches was taken away for fire assistance. Um, and we do get a lot of people sitting down waiting and it's just one of them things. <laughs> Hello. Anne Ewings, Mount Pleasant Residents Association, speaking for bid number three. We had our kitchen fitted last year, which is beautiful, we're very pleased, but there is a problem with the kitchen door. At the time it was discussed to make it into two sections, two thirds and a third, but the kitchen got finished quickly, very efficiently, and the normal door got put on. And that is why the suggestion was made of the different door, because as you see from the toilet door, it started to hit the toiling door and make it difficult. Um, it's, it's marking the toilet door. So this year they've asked for the revised style of the door. And also I have to add to that that at the time they were repairing the ceilings because of leaks we had. And we have one repair still to be done in the toilet, please. As you will see from the video, um, the gentleman started the ceiling but he was never able to return to finish the job. So it would be nice to get the divided door for the kitchen and the repaired ceiling for the toilet. I'm Charles Penrose. My position is Vice Chair of Sloan Court Tenants Association. This is our number two bit. Uh, we have a, an existing garden shed here which is falling apart and we would like a replacement for it. It is used to store our garden tools and our garden furniture for, for the summer time and we would wish to have it placed at a certain position over here between these two walls and it doesn't uh, interfere with the open space there. Hi, it's Chris Rowe again from St James House in Ardenley Court. This is our priority two bit. Our community room has a fire exit door which leads out onto uh, the car park area but it's rather narrow and it has quite a steep ramp uh, which makes it very difficult for wheelchair users to get out. What we would like to do is replace this door with a double door and reduce the level of the threshold of the door so that we can reduce the height of this ramp and make it easier for wheelchair users to get access. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Debbie Williams. I'm the chairman of Theobald House and this is our bid number two. We would like our outside foyer, the exterior of our outside foyer, re-coated. Um, it's very it's got a lot of erosion on it. It looks awful. It is the first impression into our building and it's a very poor impression where the rest of the building looks quite nice. Thank you. Hello, I'm Carl Boardman representing the residents of Warwick Mount. Our second priority bid is for wooden fencing to go around our gardens. Currently we've got concrete fencing 
which is functional but not very aesthetically pleasing. So it'd be really nice to have something to improve the look of the gardens and enhance the area. Um, our second bid is for some bike racks. At the moment there's nowhere to put bikes. Sometimes people will lash their bikes to the railings but it's probably not as safe and they sort of get in the way of it. Um, we spoke to as many residents as we could and quite a few people said that if there were bike racks it would encourage them to get a bike and so it would be good for the health of our residents and it would be good for the environment. Um, we'd probably prefer them out the front because it would be a bit more visible, hopefully less likely to get anything stolen or vandalised. Um, that's it. Hello, my name is Linda Lawrence. I am a resident of the Bristol Estate in uh, Cape Town, and this is a bid for uh, funding for our payback team projects on the estate. Uh, we do an awful lot of painting, uh, so we'd like some money for painting and for the equipment rollers, paint brushes, paint thinners, all those kind of things. The payback team are also involved in various gardening projects on the estate, weeding the paths, and so gloves and trowels and forks and that type of uh, material that is needed for uh, these projects. Uh, this benefits all the residents on the estate, makes the, the place look nice and that's what we want. We want to live in a nice place. So thank you very much. Hello, I'm Alison Gray from chair, the chair of the Clarendon and Ellen Residents Association and we've put in a bid for garden benches. We've had garden benches put in all the other gardens they're working exceptionally well um, and people feel that they can go out and they can sit on the bench in the garden. They've asked for two at Ellen House and we have one more garden at Livingston House. But apart from that, all the other gardens around the estate have now got these benches. So it's just the continuation and the last of the benches. Hi, uh, this is Craven Vale Community Association. This is our EDB bid number three. It's a feasibility study for a new play area at the south of Parham Close to include a consultation with uh, residents. Um, if you see from the attached photos, um, the area that we'll be choosing. Hi, I'm Zandon Tuck from Essex Place Residents Association. Um, talking about our bid number three, which is for a cooker in our community room kitchen. Um, currently we have just a hob in the kitchen, but we're now looking to get a full cooker so uh, tenants and that that use the room can um, heat food or cook food for parties. Um, we have a lot of families that have birthday parties down there. And also our friendship club so we can cook roast dinners, uh, Christmas and Easter and functions that we do. So that is our EDV bid free for a cooker. Hello again, this is Barry, co-chair of the Residents Association at Hampshire Court. Um, our priority bid number three is to get ten signs erected um, at each of the entry and exit points on the estate um, to have these signs made and installed um, to try to deter non-residents from wandering through our estate, walking their dogs, picnicking and generally causing a nuisance on the estate. This is Tony Cutler again. Uh, um, um, uh, I'm a treasurer of Lavender House um, Social Club, and um, and, and, uh, and this is bid this is bid number three. Now, now, uh, I'm doing. Tenants agreed to have to have paving laid amongst the shrubs uh, and tree in, in this area. The reasons of this are due to ongoing littering by passers-by, and, and the constant issue. Uh, of bindweed uh, and ivy growing over the shrubs uh, uh, and the area, we 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 are hoping we are hoping the paving will tidy up the area and deter littering, or also reduce the bindweed and ivy and and make it easier to uh, to remove any any grows. The 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 upper flower bed has had new turf laid last year, and um, and this will complete the outside look of the building. 
especially for the tenants who slash, who slash over, uh, overlook this area. Anne Ewings, Mount Pleasant Residents Association, speaking on for a little bench or a bench, park bench, on the west side of Tyson Place. This is what we term the dog area. It's been secured with fencing because, as I explained when I was fortunate enough to get the fencing last year, there are some residents that have been so scared to let their dogs off the lead that they were so pleased and asked for a re restricted, secure area, which they've got, but they would love to be able to sit down. And there's nothing around there at all. The plastic thing that keeps getting blown all over the place, the old sofa, is no good to them. So to have a park bench secured on the paving which is already in existence would be marvellous. And we'd be very grateful to have it. Thank you. My name is Charles Penrose. I'm Vice Chair of Sloan Court Tenants Association. This is our number two bit, and it's the bin room. We had a fire in here some months ago. There's somebody put light lighted cigarette ends in one of the bins and the smoke was billowing everywhere and it blackened the roof. Uh, and there's, uh, there's a good clean up needs to be done in here to make it quite presentable. Uh, it's never been painted, but it would be brighter if we had some white paint on the walls or uh, make, make it a bit attractive. Thank you. Hi, it's Chris Rowe from St James House in Ireland New Court again. Uh, this is our Priority 3 bid. Uh, I'm sitting in our community room amid a great pile of spare chairs and tables, etc. This is the only place we can uh, store them when they are not in use. Uh, what we would like to do is produce a new storage area, particularly as we will be purchasing new uh, tables and chairs for use in our patio area outside the community room. Now in previous years we have applied for uh, a grant to create a new storage room but this has been rejected because the costs were prohibitive. We have now with consultation with the Brighton Hove Council come across a new area in the building uh, which could be used uh, as a storage area at a much lower cost uh, and it is very convenient being on the ground floor uh, fairly close to the community room. So I would ask that you uh, give us the go ahead this year because we are desperate, absolutely desperate for this storage space. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon again. My name is Debbie Williams. This is bid number three for Theobald House. We would like to have six weatherproof lockable bike pods that we can situate outside the building. Weatherproof because everything goes rusty around here and lockable because our residents would like a private area to keep their bike. They don't want to keep them in with other bikes. We've had a lot of... Um, bikes that have been dismantled by people that aren't their owners. So um, lockable, weatherproof, six of would be brilliant. Thank you. Hello, it's Carl Gordman representing the residents of Warwick Mound. We've got uh, one recycling bin here in our bin room and often this is full to capacity and we would really like to have a second bin in here so that we can recycle all our paper, plastic, uh, cardboard and tins. Hello, I'm Alison Gray, Chair of the Clarendon and Ellen Residents Association. This is priority bid number four and we have a tree in Conway Court Garden that's dead and they would like it replaced with an olive tree. The, the reason the, the tree has died is because underneath the surface of the grass is chalk and concrete so we need something that will grow in there and we understand an olive tree would be the perfect solution and that's what they've actually asked for. 
Hi, this is uh, Craven Vale Community Association. This is our EDB bid number four. It's um, for replacement carpeting in the Vale Community Centre. Um, if you look at the photos that have been provided at the moment, it's really dangerous because the carpet is uh, getting pulled up and it's rucking and is a trip hazard. Hi, it's Andy Tuck from Essex Page Residence Association with our final EDB bid priority four, and that's for the stripping back and the deep clean of our floors in both our west and our east lobbies, um, and also for the decoration and the redecoration of the walls. Um, these areas haven't been, um, the floors haven't been done for some time, and they could do with a strip back and a deep clean uh, and buffed back up, uh, and also the redecoration of all the walls, and that is our EDB bid for. This is our fourth bid. Uh, and our fourth bid is having the windows cleaned, which we have done every year, and this will be our fifth year to get them done. Uh, we have them done on the EDB because the council don't have the money to clean the communal staircase windows inside and out. And we also have them clean the bin room doors inside and out. This stops, this stops the dirt building up and we're slowly getting clearer and clearer windows every year. Thank you. Um, Anne Ewing's Mount Pleasant Residence Association. Speaking for St John's Mount, our high-rise block at the back, they've had some rather unfortunate damage done by the dear bin men who, when they roll the trolleys out, they've knocked the wall over. So there's a small wall that needs resurrecting, if you'd be so kind, and the fence that was secured on the top came off at the same time. There's also a small wall on the opposite side of the pathway which has lost its edge. Now the garden man, Keith, is excellent and we've worked out to, that to have a steel protective rail round the wall that is built and the other corner a small steel bollard, this would help secure them against unfortunate happenings. So that would be a great help to have that repaired as it just looks a shambles at the moment and it's a shame not to. Thank you very much. Charles Penrose, I'm Vice Chair of Stone Court's Tennis Association. This is our fourth bit, is to have a new carpeting on this floor because it's covered in stains of all different types, um, oil and muds and everything, and it has to be the whole of this area plus the passageway up to the end. Hi, it's Chris Rowe from St James House in Ardenley Court again. Uh, this is our priority four bit. Uh, I'm still in the community room and we would like to replace the radiators in this room. Currently we have five radiators, but two of these cannot be used because of the location. One is in the kitchen area right beside a fridge freezer and the other is directly beneath a plasma television. Uh, so these two cannot be used. The remaining three do not produce enough heat to keep the room warm in winter, particularly as the room is used as a cafe and the doors are open frequently, allowing drafts in and out. So we would like to replace these with larger units with a greater heat output. Um, and I have been in discussions with the council and have been told that there is no need for extra planning permission to replace these units. Thank you. Hello, my name is Alison Gray and I'm the chair of the Clarendon and Ellen Residents Association and this is our priority bid number five. Um, and we'd like lockable notice boards in the in the foyers of, of Livingston House. There's three tower blocks and then so when people come out of the lift they can see straight away the notice board so they know what's happening when there's a residence meeting because where we've got some of the notice boards now is a wind tunnel um, and people don't want to stand there reading the notices so if we could have three one for each of the blocks that would be absolutely ideal hi this is our craven Bell community association this is our edb bid number five it's for the provision of a concrete plinth and wooden bench um, next to our bus stop at Hadlow Close. Um, reason is the seats of the bus stop, as you can see from the photos, 
uh, and the bus stop's not very comfortable, so we'd like to provide a bench instead. Mount Pleasant Residents Association. Um, this time speaking on behalf of the same feeling as all people living in high rise to make sure that the CCTV cameras are working properly. And you will know that Tyson had a lot of trouble here, which the police and the residents themselves help conquer that problem, but we do need the CCTV for the strays that come into our blocks to sleep and do drugs and everything. So what we're asking is that we have electrical and mechanical department have told me that we needed to put it through on EDB and so we would like the cameras examined in St John's Mount and Tyson Place, which will secure the residents and make them feel that when it's red, it's red clearly. So thank you very much. Hello, it's Chris Rowe again from St James House in Arden Court, and this is our priority five bin. Currently, the main entrance door to the uh, community room and cafe is situated directly behind me. But whenever that door is opened, we get a considerable draft flows through here, throughout the room, and out through the fire exit door taking all the heat out of the room. What we would like to do is to reposition the main entrance door from here to the other end of the room. There currently is a door there, but it is uh, kept locked and does not have side glasses in it. So what we would like to do is reposition the door here and change the door and put side glass in and put new locks uh, to enable us to uh, retain the heat in the room. And by the way, as you probably saw, the light switches were all beside the door we currently use, and we would need to reposition them so they can be used from beside this door. Thank you. Hello, my name's Alison Gray and I'm the chair of the Clarendon and Ellen Residents Association. Our bid number six is for a CCTV in one of the storage locker rooms. The reason for that is we get a huge amount of fly tipping in there and we also have a problem with rough sleepers in there um, and it's not fair on our cleaners that they have to deal because they use it as a toilet so they have to deal with clearing up faecal matter as well as um, urine. If we have a CCTV, we can actually prevent the fly tipping and we can prevent some of the rough sleepers because we'll actually know who they are and then we can then pass that information on to the police and the council. Hi, this is Grovenvale Community Association. Uh, this is for our EDB bid number six. It's for the repainting of a stairwell in Hadley Close. As you can see from the photos, the the stairwell hasn't been painted for quite a long time. It's looking quite dreary and dirty. Anne Ewing's Mount Pleasant Residents Association. Speaking for St John's Mount, um, this is an area that was at one stage a complete green with no design at, at all. And a fellow that they unfortunately have now lost, and there's a bench commemorating him, helped design the whole thing. So the work there is done by the residents, which is brilliant. And on that basis, what they're asking for is some, I think if I pronounce it, Eliagnes. Um, they'd like a row of Eliagnes along the side of the fencing, which runs down Mount Pleasant, to give it body and um, framework. And that's about 36 feet. Um, so it'd be brilliant if by chance they can get their bushes because I admire the residents when they involve themselves and they've made those gardens and therefore to have this is an encouragement to continue. Thank you. Hi, it's Chris Rowe from St James House and Ardingly Court again. Uh, this is our priority six bid. I'm now in Ardingly Court. The residents here have nowhere to store their cycles so they have asked for four cycle hoops so that they can secure their bite in this location. And, uh... 
Our bid number seven is for to remove the carpets from Ellen House, Goldstone House and Clarendon House um, in the lobbies and on the landings and replace it with suitable material. The carpets get very, very dirty. It um, doesn't matter how many times you have them cleaned, they're still dirty. If we have a different flooring that can be cleaned, it will actually improve the look for the residents um, and it'll just, it'll just make it easier for them to see. Anne Ewing's Mount Pleasant Residents Association with bid number seven. This is the north part, the north side of, St, of Tyson Place, I beg your pardon, Tyson Place. There's an area there where either with the naughty residents throwing rubbish or it gets blown there and you will see, um, you will see a shot on camera of just how bad it is. And some of the residents have said to me, what can we do about it? I believe City Clean will clear it for us if we get this bid approved so that the idea I've had, um, hoping it would work, is the positioning of wooden posts against the block and the wall opposite. We've got one piece of fence in one end, a piece of fence in the other, and if we had chicken wire of a very small mesh that was attached to the wood across, anything after that that fell down we could easily clear from the mesh. It's just an idea, but it would keep that area which is absolutely bummed up with rubbish, rubbish it will keep it clearer, I'm sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm.